Hey, this is Mikey with another After Effects quick tip. Today, we're gonna to talk about scaling a mask. Now, this is one of those tricks that comes in handy all the time. Let me show you what we're gonna do. So I've got this red solid for the background. Let's just grab the pen tool and I'm going to make a mask. Doesn't matter what it is. It could be a shape, it could be whatever. And I realize, oh no, that mask is too small. And so I want to scale it. But what this is actually doing is I'm not scaling the mask. I'm scaling the layer. You can see down here, we're at 177%. And it's scaling the layer. We can actually scale the mask and leave the layer at 100%. So let's put that back to 100. And what we're going to do is, let's go to the mask, highlight the mask, and instead of, you know, I can move this mask around or I can click off and move the points around. But if I hit Command T, or if you're on a PC, Control T, it brings up this bounding box, and now I can scale the mask. And it's keeping the layer size just the way it was. It's only scaling the mask on top of the layer. So this is really cool. We can also do stretches and squashes and things like that. So this is only affecting the mask, not the layer. If I come down to the layer, go to the scale, it's still at 100%. So that is how to scale a mask. It's Command T or Control T if you're on Windows. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.